and a jailer. And today I'm taking you through the cyclist six minute stretch. Now I know a lot of cyclists often don't have the time to stretch or don't make the time to stretch, but it really is important because you're stuck in the same old position for sometimes hours on end. Everything tightens up around the neck, the rib cage, and the back of the leg. So I'm going to take you through some stretches, show you a few different levels, and I hope you find it useful and that you can use it quite often after your cycles. Enjoy. Shoulders, you're often stuck in a very tight position, leaning over the handlebars for a while. So, circling those shoulders around, just loosen them off, increase the mobility within the joint. Just bring those elbows forward, tuck the head in, then lift open, chin coming up. And once more, drop the head, elbows in, and lift open, head up. Take that head over to one side, flex the hand away. Breathing through this stretch, really push the heel of the hand down towards the floor. And gently take it across to the other side. Push that heel of the hand down. And hands back on the lap. Lift the chin, pull the shoulder blades down and back. And coming on to all fours. So shoulders over the top of the hands, hips over the top of the knees. Curl that back up, tuck the head under, and push those ribs down, lift the head. One more time. Ribs up, and ribs down. Open it out, one arm, reaching up to the ceiling, and tuck underneath, reach as far to that side as you can, looking with the hand where you're going, reaching up one more time. And reaching underneath. Take it to the other side, reach up, really open the chest out and drop down, reaching through, one more time, reach it up and reach it through. Good. Sit it back, hand reaching forwards. Now trying to keep that chest down on the floor, reach forward, walk those hands forward. Bottoms are up in the air, chest pushing down, and walk it back. One more time, walking forwards, keep that chest low, and walk it back. Relax there, step the one foot up into a lunge, push the hips forwards, hands up onto the knee. Pulling back, toes coming up towards the ceiling, hands down on each side. Reaching forwards again into that hip stretch. Back hamstrings will probably feel quite tight, so take your time. Now, from here, you're going to dip the head down and lift up, breathing out, dip down and lift up. One more time, dip down and lift up. Bring that foot across to your mat, drop the knee and push the other leg back behind you, just stretching out that glute. Now, you might not get the hips all the way down to the floor, that glute feel tight, just rock it out on the hands. You'll feel enough of a stretch here. Now if this is too tight for some of you, you can lift up a little bit or equally pull that foot in so you're resting more on the shin rather than it being parallel to the front of the mat. Just take your time, keep rocking there and just once, breathing out, drop the head and back up to centre. Release that leg, stepping up into your lunge, leaning forward, push the hips down and pulling back, toes up, breathing out, move forwards, good, bring it back, toes up, one more time, move forwards and pulling back, drop the head down, breathing out, breathing out. Step it forwards, walk that foot across to the other side, stretch the back and slightly drop down to the knee. You're now in your pigeon pose, just rocking it side to side. Keep your breathing steady throughout. Nice deep breath in, breathe out, drop down. Coming up and step both feet back. Coming in to the knee. Hands behind. 
behind you. So just to open out that back from that reverse action, hands behind you, lift the hips forwards and push your glutes. Stretch now all the way across that hip. And relax down, we're taking it one more time, pushing up. Keep breathing, try and lift the chin this time, open up towards the ceiling and relax, take a moment, bring it round into a cross-legged position. This may be tight for some of you, I'd like you to bring both soles of the feet together and just rock out. Okay. Now if this feels too tight, move the feet away from you a little bit, but hold on to the ankles and push down with those elbows. And come back up one more time, breathing out, push down. Now just keep those knees bouncing in this position whilst we're here, bringing one arm across the body, drop that shoulder down, keep breathing. Take it to the opposite direction. Nice deep breaths. Good, and one final stretch just to open out those shoulders again, so no more rounding off the back. Open out the shoulders, you're going to need to find a wall. Your hand is going with thumb facing up towards the ceiling. You can do this seated or standing. Now from here, turn away from that arm as much as you can and just rock out. Let's say you can do this on your knees. It's easier to find some it's a bit to pull up. Make sure that arm is at shoulder height and you're just rocking out side to side. Keep breathing. Gently turn around, release that arm, give it a shake, taking it across to the other side. And turn away from it, rock yourself out. Hugely deep stretch across the shoulders here. Try and keep the heel of the hand on the wall. And just release that arm, give everything a shake. Guys, I hope that helps you. Really quick six minute stretch, I will follow up with some more stretches very soon. But for now, that is more than enough to get on with. Try and add it to the end of all your cycles, and I hope you enjoy. Well done.